Hey everybody, Sad to Peer here. And I'm JoJo's Drums. This looks like a lot different nature than you're used to. <laughs> but we're here to show you how we roast our coffee. Yeah. For our espresso machine, because we've been drinking a ton. So these are Ethiopian beans. You can see they're smaller, kind of lighter green. They tend to have more fruity notes, have a fresh, lighter kind of flavor. Uh, <laughs> I really like, so I usually do about half uh, Ethiopian. So we're going to fill that bucket half full with Ethiopian beans? Yep. So these are South American beans, uh, Peruvian beans, and you can see that they have a, more, a larger size and they're a little more gray in color, not quite so green and fresh looking as the Ethiopian. So these are African beans, and you can see they're even darker and kind of rougher um, than, it's kind of the three layers, you know, you have the Ethiopian, which is a lot fresher and smaller and more green, and then the uh, South American beans are kind of in the middle, and then the African beans, uh, and you know, I always like to say they taste like they look. You know, the Ethiopian are fresher and greener, the Peruvian have more kind of caramely tones kind of in the middle, and then the African beans are gonna have really dark, deep, earthy uh, kind of tones. I don't know if you've noticed, but light roast has become a lot more popular, and it is because the coffee farmers are getting better at what they do, and the availability of good quality beans has really gone up in the last few years. Um, so dark roast can really cover up and mask any musty flavors or kind of inferior qualities in coffee. So there used to be a lot more dark roast just to, um, you know, to cover up any of those. But lighter roast shows a lot more nuances of the bean. Um, so if you have a quality coffee bean, uh, you don't need to roast the crap out of it to make it taste great. Quality in, quality out. How many pounds are we roasting? 35. I don't have to lift the whole bucket into the hopper because it's heavy. Can you going in? So this machine is called the Civets. Um, it is a German machine. And it, the cool thing about it is this is the chamber here and it actually air roasts the beans. So it uh, circulates them around and uh, gives really direct or less direct heat. So you don't get a lot of beans that are kind of burnt and a lot of beans that are lighter. Uh, you get a really consistent roast with this machine. So it's about to get loud in here because I'm gonna turn on um, this controller over here will circulate the beans 
And then over here is where you set the roast temp and it will, it will trigger the combustion chamber, which will then send hot air into the machine. Um, it is quite loud. When I, when I worked roasting coffee, I always wore ear protection and you definitely should um, in this scenario. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's about to get loud in here, folks. What's the roasting temperature? Um, so ro you can roast anywhere from 400. I mean, some are as low as 350, like a cinnamon roast um, that really captures the flavor of the bean when it's green. Um, the more, the higher temperature that you roast, the more of a darker charcoal kind of flavor you get. You know, you get flavor from the roast. Um, and that, that tends to, you know, you get less and less of the original bean flavor as you roast up. Um, so oftentimes an espresso roast will be up to 460, 470. Um, those are dark, dark roasts. Um, I like to do kind of a, my, my temp is typically I like 454. Um, it's in this machine, you know, some with the, with the direct heat machines, the ones that look kind of like little popcorn machines that rotate an arm and have a hot pan that the beans sit on. Um, those, I think, tend to, at a lower temperature, the beans get darker and oilier quicker. Um, so I think that 454 with the air chamber is going to look lighter than if you were to do 454 in the other style of roaster. Um, I don't like it. it. As you roast, more of the oils come out in the beans. So if you want to look over here, actually. So this is a light roast here. Um, you know, probably about 430 on that machine or so. And this is a medium to dark roast. So you can see the oils are starting to kind of come out in them, um, but not, you know, not super greasy. If you roasted it all the way to 470, you're gonna get greasy, dark, dark, almost black beans. Greasy beans. Nice medium to dark roast going on here. Looking beautiful, just how I like it. Nice crispy nice hot bean. They were a lot more agreeable than the green beans. Yeah. <laughs> They're ready to get out of there. They done. You done cook my ass off. You done cook my ass all the way off. Are we sucking the chaff out? This is cooling the beans. Oh, this so, is... So, yeah, so this is just a fan that blows air to cool them. 
And then, um, so the chaff is actually back here. Let me show you. So all of the little chaff, the outside of the beans, which look like this when they come out, are uh, lighter. So they actually come up through here and down into this bucket right here. There they are. A few beans made their way inside there too. Can you eat it? It works great uh, in compost. It's great for gardens. That's usually the people who take it. I'm sure it wouldn't hurt. <laughs> Don't tell anybody I ate the chaff. Mmm, chaffy. Tastes like peanut skin. So these are heat seal bags. Uh, you can see by the inside. So when you heat these, uh, it kind of turns into like a glue. This is a heat sealer right here. Uh, you want to let it warm up for a little bit before you use it. Yeah. All right, so the beans are all nice and cool now. Time to put them in the bucket we're going to scoop them out of here. 28 pounds of delicious coffee. That's how coffee beans are made. We did it. Well, that's how they're roasted. That's how coffee beans are roasted. We did it. Thanks, Jojo. My pleasure. You're Thanks up. for all your help. Anytime. It was fun.
This is so sturdy. <laughs> Creamy, chocolatey, with good caramel notes. Mmm. Nothing beats a good latte. Oh my goodness, I got six shots of espresso over ice and it tastes so smooth and delicious. Chocolatey, creamy caramel notes. And I'm zooted. Woo woo woo. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Kelly's ready to go. <laughs> Cut. Always remember. Do something you love. With someone you love. Even if it's roasting a little coffee bean of your own. You could just take one little coffee bean and roast it in the oven and love that time and love yourself and love coffee and love. Love, love, love. We love you guys. It's a little bit out of shape. Action? Yes. Action? Uh huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, hi. Mm. I got six shots of espresso. Cut.